Guys, before we get into the episode, thank you so much to our sponsor, Zia, Zia Farms. Farms. Guys, make sure to go to zefhemp.com to support mm. our sponsor. If you like the best CBD, they have rattlesnake oil CBD that helped me get through my fight amazingly. It's just this beautiful oil. You roll it on, you put it on your back, you put it on your muscles. Honestly, I've been going to a, chiro- uh, going to like a chiropractor. I get home. Put that on. It it, it it hits different. But also, mm. the best thing with Zia is they're always working forward and for the future generation. I can't say what's coming up, but he hits me up every week. He shows me what's in the chamber. This is some crazy shit, uh-huh. guys. So, guys, if you like Delta 8 and you like CBD, mm-hmm. please go to go to Zia Farms Extraordinary and use promo code DOPED hyphen up and get... Ready? Ready? Eight. How much? Tell them. 50% Woo! off, guys. That is... 50% off D O P E D hyphen U P. Guys, Z E F. That's one more time. Z E F H E M P. Last time you got 50% com. off on anything. Guys, support our sponsors. Let's get back into the show. Word that I'm allowed to. Oh, use. Skater, yeah. White skater kids and black So when you hear black guys, you go, you go, hey, I hear niggas. No, right that, that's different. How's that different though, than what you it's just said? It's a different said. culture. So I'm saying though, like when you hear black guys, Oh, and when you hear a white dude, right? Yeah. When you hear a white guy talking and he sounds like he's hood, right? You go and you haven't laid eyes on him. In your head, you go, oh, I think I hear some niggas. Oh, no, that's a wigger. Mm. No, I think I look, I turn around and I'm like, oh, it's Dylan. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Wait, so you think Mac that's Miller's a, a wigger? Huh? You think Mac Miller's a wigger? Is that what you think? Yeah, is Mac Miller a wigger? I like that. Yeah, but he's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's there are good, good one. ones. They're good ones, they're bad ones. He reminds you of the white Jesus kid you would Christ, hang out with in high school. For sure. <laughs> Matt Miller, you know. Guys, this is Dope to Been Dying. The, the Sunday, Sunday Morning, morning Smoke, Smoke Show. Show. Guys, thank you so much for watching Dope to Been Dying. This is I am your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is Big Poppy Shampoo himself, Kevin, the abortion survivor, Sanchez. You already wow. know what it is. I love it. Is that real? Sitting here. Sitting here. I survived <laughs> abortions. <laughs> I that makes survived adoption. I survived the hood. He even survived yeah. the infantry. I survived the infantry. Bro, you live, I su- I live I four lives, bro. Uh, uh, you only got like, and I want to know what happened to Kevin's three. abortion. And sitting across from D- from Kevin, next to him, is D.C. Williams, the false prophet himself. Yes, That's sir. Live and in the, the flesh. Prophet. My homie Dylan being very, very Florida right now with the beef jerky. Ooh, with the beef jerky Liking and the it. flannel jacket, like dog. Heavy, big Florida Someone energy. Someone I looked Canadian the other night. Canadian? That, that girl's stupid. Okay, yeah. I can see that though. Sitting next. And was to that DC. Mina and was that last night? <laughs> I might have been. Okay. <laughs> La- and sitting next to DC is our st- un- returning third time. Second, second time. I guess third second if you time. count the time. Third time you the pod. Second time officially. Roby Rosen. Hello. Hello. Funny Hello. young comic. Yeah, and before we uh, before we get right into it, also want to say on the ones and twos. Natty Ice. Thanks Hell for being yeah. On hey, man. Natty. Always. 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 Absolutely. Big producer energy, okay. Nat. How you feeling, man? How's your week been? I like that. My week's been... Like, you like that, right? <laughs> uh, he went all the way around, and I said... No, no. Dylan, she she said me. Shake. She was talking about what I said. What you said? Big producer energy. Big, oh, BBE yeah, yeah, out yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I promise you, Nat, just stick with us. We're going places. <laughs> you guys need to slow down for a second, all right? What? This is the slowest thought we've ever abortion, had. Abortion survivor. Sanchez. False prophet. Uh-huh. What is going? Why did you survive an abortion? Yes. He is a survived uh, abortion. Yeah. You're he just fucking dodging prophet. the fucking knife they stick nah, in the pussy. It was they... different. Like it was a Dominican. It was a Puerto Rican abortion. What is that? Like uh, they try to make don't me have me... an abortion, and Kevin said no, no, no. Like he uh, was just like, not, bro, like he not, just did not make an abortion. They 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 swallow ale. And like they, they just did fucking... it, but like <laughs> Kevin still came out. Um, they did. I was supposed to be a twin. This nigga ate his uh-huh. twin. <laughs> nah, bro. He put his twin in front of him. Is that what yeah. you did? Yeah, I said, nah. It's, yeah. ah. it's like, oh, this bitch is crazy. I need mm. protection. So so they accidentally killed the other twin. Yeah. That's sick. Ski, ski, ski. You're like fucking Elvis, dude. That's wild, Elvis? bro. Crazy. Yeah. That's like if a... the aliens like invaded and they're like just hovering over, like taking and somebody. And he's like, a, no, take my little brother. He's a born murderer, though. I don't think he chose. No, I, he didn't I, nah, choose. bro. Your brother just didn't survive. Oh, my sister. Wait, is it post-choice if a baby kills another baby? If is it pro choice? What? That, That's not how that works, Dylan. Is the question. <laughs> Dylan, okay, so mm-hmm. Dylan's clearly on some sort of drugs, and Deep I actually jerky. wanted to ask that because I feel like normally when you guys have me on the pod, it's when 
Dylan does too many drugs, and you're like, we need uh-huh. somebody to call him out. No, 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 no. <laughs> that he's a problem. No, no, not this time, buddy. Oh, okay, so nothing happened. He's good. Like he's no, good. he's chilling. Episode. Yeah, those those this is fine, actually dude. the chillest he's been in weeks. I'm hiding it really well. He's fine. Yeah. Jesus uh, Christ! Dude. <laughs> Every time I see him, I think he's on shrooms, and it's like scary because like really? next thing you know, like we're gonna read in the news that some guy stripped down naked, thought he was Jesus, and fucking <laughs> ran around. I'm not gonna lie, the shrooms are. Can you play jerking in uh, San Francisco by? Look, Google jerking it lie. in San Francisco. Just play that in the background. I've been good, bro. You, you just been hanging out. Just uh, uh, are you serious? I don't revamping. want us to be demonetized. Oh yeah, South Park is gonna take our money. I have, I, I, I will be jerking it off in San, San Diego soon. Yeah, Yo, YouTube is gonna start monetizing reels. Oh! Ah! All right. Why? You said why they are? Would, or why did you get that information? Is that real? Uh, yeah, yeah. Confirmed factual information. See, this is why we call you the false Next prophet. Year. DC will say things. And yeah, just... yeah. That's what I was going to ask YouTube about. YouTube is going to start prophet. monetizing reels. That's mm. not... I wouldn't say that and on this podcast. If we're not that false creative. prophet. I'm just say it. I'm just I see it. it. You didn't even need to answer the question, I understand. What question? The false why prophet. Why do they call you the oh, false prophet? Uh, um... Okay, he goes, so oh, I get that one. There's really no, there's no real reason why. I think when I speak, sometimes it sounds like I'm waxing philosophically, but I'm not. I just speak clearly, and it comes off to people, I guess, some somewhat prophetic, or maybe it is prophetic, or maybe I hit some points. Sometimes Never, I I've but spoken also, to you. Wait, but no matter what, I'm full of shit. So that's why I'm a false prophet. I have spoken see, to you so many you times, and talk, never have you I talk thought like like. You yeah. really do talk like a, you know, what, what was that? A about? Jew. Uh, a Jew? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> to like Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan. Oh, that's yeah. great for us. YouTube is monetizing shorts a 45% revenue split. Hey, I will say this. My guy, did I lie this time? No, Our YouTube go. shorts? Is that prophecy? Okay. <laughs> Our YouTube shorts are doing way Banging, better than son. our Instagram That clip right with I mean, you. It makes no sense. And I didn't even care till, till it hit that those numbers. <laughs> that clip <laughs> with you, Sean Millia, and Kevin. That shit was at 528 when I first checked it, bro. I went back to it. Out 29,000 views, bro. I was Whoa. like, And dope. it's been hovering at 29 for and like four days. So go yeah, watch it, it has, and share. It so, so go how, watch it, like it, and share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, how's your week been? What have you been up to? You still homeless? Uh, no. I'm living. Oh, shit. You got a new place? No, there. I'm living rent free at my girlfriend's apartment. Oh, so, oh City is, Boy's up, bro. <laughs> City boy's hey. up. Very <laughs> different. City Boy with it. City Boy with it. City Boy with it. Hey. It's not. Shout out Lil Duval. Who's. <laughs> Who's Lil Duval? You know who Lil Duval is? No. You're a comic? You don't know. Nah, I'm joking. He's a comic. He's a comic. He's a comic. Oh. Yeah, he's a comic. I'm sure he's so funny. He's mad he funny. <laughs> funny. Honestly, he's so funny. He's been doing funny. comedy for about as long as he's been alive. So. Damn. Way longer than that. He's that, like that, big that Duval. doesn't mean that it's good. If you've been doing comedy 25 years, you better be. I better good. know you. You don't know who I better Lil know. Duval. Like, he's also 20 yo, something. You have you know heard? I have a question. Smile, you know who Elvis is? Smile, yeah. bitch. Okay. You know who Lil Duval is? No, maybe. You never watched Wild and Out when you were younger, bro? I did. All right. Yeah, go ahead. So, Do I know who Elvis is? Because it was forced down my fucking throat. I know who Elvis is. I we answered that question five seconds ago, but cool. I get your Did point. anyone watch the Elvis movie? I know. No, I not, didn't. Pff, why would I dude, watch that guy? I, I, don't I, watch the movie, I got high as fuck and watched the movie. Nah, dude. It's a good, it's a good dumb watch. Natalie, did you watch it? No, but I did. I've heard that it's a good dumb, it, pretty, dude, pretty, but. It actually soulless. made me feel bad for Elvis, I, but there was also points in the movie you're like, dude, this is. Gas Digital just followed I, me for some reason. I'll tell you exactly That's what... That's why, Mike. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly Thanks, what happened in the really Elvis movie. You're podcasting. You're the best... No, no, no. I want, I, want, I want to stop for a second. What the fuck? I wanted you to go, why? <laughs> I wanted somebody you? to say why. No one did. I was just like, all right. All right. You guys are no fun. Thanks, DC. Um, I've never about? seen a movie... Uh, Elvis movie. I've never seen a movie dodge the N-word more like the Elvis movie. Oh, you think there was a lot more done? You gotta no, show no, me no, the no, scenes. No, 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 bro. You gotta talk See, that shit. By the way, by the way when you interrupt, I'm, like, yeah, I'm trying to do something here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank build it, yeah, build yeah, it, build yeah, it, build yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Build it. I'm here for you. <laughs> you go. Know, the yeah. entire movie. That's where I'm telling you. It's like a three-hour watch. It uh, is worth so it Dylan, for <laughs> all the implied N words. Dylan was like, "That's when I would have said it. That's no, when I would have said it. That's oh, when I, I would have said it. Oh, it would have been great. Right no, 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 right there, right there. <laughs> when, when, right there. Say it. Who say the it. Here? Say it. Put me here? in, coach. <laughs> Put me in. Come on. Good. That's so fun. Put me in, Put coach. Put me in. Dylan, yeah. Dylan wishes that the Elvis movie was more like Django. <laughs> like, I was like, "Where's Tarantino and Leo? If Leo was Elvis, oh, I would have loved." To see Bro, him. he would have. It would have been the most legit Elvis there was. Oh, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise could have done Elvis. Nah, he would have been too tiny. He would have been fat. Elvis would have been great, bro. By the way, the the dude who did Elvis, it, the voice and everything was great. Like, the singing was great and everything. Oh, with all that stuff. Oh, baby. But <laughs> oh, baby. Like, he he literally <laughs> a white dude trying to sound like a black dude in the sixties. Okay, okay. Can you, okay, can, you, I can, have, can you do Elvis doing implied? Dude, I, I don't know why. Are you saying Elvis? 
was being uh, was trying to impersonate oh my God. black guys. I never had no nigga pussy like this. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, 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 you made me feel so good. <laughs> I think this is how Rick James would have did it. <laughs> I don't know. That's just how I imagine. No, no, the movie. movie has a little scene where he's a kid and he's poor and then he hears like, way down. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, very soul, like yeah, good yeah. music. And there's a black dude on a guitar by yeah. himself. Yeah, yeah. And then, dude, he and then you just watch a young kid watch it. And yeah. then later in the movie, he's singing. Mm-hmm. And then you, the movie literally says, oh, he, that that line in the song where he goes, oh, da, 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 da. it's like they 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 blend it with yeah, the yeah. old thing that he remembered, yeah. implying that oh yeah, he this stole the music it. That he wanted. But to don't Elvis released don't a worry. lot of covers. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Elvis but did I, covers. Mad people did covers back then. Yes, and I'm that. mad offended that everyone just fucking Elvis explaining to me this episode. I think you fucking none of you have the credentials to talk about. I Elvis. do. I, feel like I, I come do. from a family of Elvis impersonators. What? My dad and my grandpa Wait, were both Elvis impersonators. You fucking don't know this. None of you fucking Wait, see me on stage ever. Cause I, it's I talk about it, dude. I my dad and here. my grandpa were both Elvis impersonators. I'm you sorry to hear that. Are you serious? Uh-huh. In Israel. Wait, there were Israeli Israeli Elvis impersonators. Two generations? Two generations in the holy that's desert. That's too many. It? That's too many. Can we find it? We can. We Why can didn't you it. follow in their foot- footsteps? Uh, you kind of do uh, look a little Because I have Elvis-esque. sense. Yeah. No, I'm not going to be an Elvis impersonator. Yeah, please I, don't. I, I, do, I, I pay homage to Elvis. Be an Adam act. Sandler impersonator. What do you, what do you say? Like, I'm not sorry. Like, like, uh, well, it fucking, it's literally just that like... There shouldn't be Elvis, but like, there's no Hard Rock Tel Aviv. Like, there's no venue. There's no <laughs> like, you can't make a like in a like in Tennessee. No you could get like a Aviv, like right? a job. Like, it could be like a side gig of like doing that. Like for them, it was Miami like is life Tel Aviv. passion. No, 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 right? There's no Miami in Tel Aviv. There's but Tel there Aviv is in Miami. <laughs> there's uh, there's uh, a video of my dad. We can pull it up later uh, of him now going up on stage. <laughs> it's, it's called Adam Sings Elvis, 1995. <laughs> Adam Sings and, Elvis. Uh, <laughs> What? what where That's was his dad? Dude, so, he, yeah, he loves his dad. Get closer, yeah, get closer, get closer. Yeah. Both oh, fuck. Interesting about so, that. So, uh-huh. so uh, tell us. a special place in your heart. So tell us. So there's a gas station outside of Jerusalem. It's like 10 miles outside of Jerusalem. There's a gas station. That gas station has a giant golden statue of Elvis outside. And no. it's also an Elvis memorial. It's the only Elvis museum in the Middle East at this gas station. Tr- just fact. Okay. Uh, is that where your dad worked? So I went there the first time, right? And uh, I went there the first time. I was like, yo, can I use the bathroom? They were like, it's going to cost you four shekels. And I was like, four shekels? You fucking Jews. And then I went outside and I peed on the side of the building. And I was like, that, fuck you. I'm peeing for free. This is God's right that I've been giving to piss. I'm Elvis. Yeah. So the second time, my uncle brought me there with my cousins. And they didn't recognize me, obviously. I was just, like, passed through for, like, 20 seconds. But, like, this time, they, like, because they knew my uncle, they treated me like the king. They treated me like I was of. They were like, you want a blowjob uh, and some coke? N- I wish, dude. It was like, it, but it was, it was But like, also, you need to stay in Las Vegas for the rest of your life. <laughs> dude, it's like, it's like, your father, your grandfather, <laughs> so they yeah, both yeah. perform here. <laughs> for many years, dude, it's and literally I was like, like a one-stop gas station with one pump. You're like, you're three not pumps. making me feel good right now. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they treat me. They, they gave me both free your, food. Your father and his father were homeless Elvis people. American, Crazy people, not homeless. They fucking my. They had lives, okay, <laughs> lives. But, but they, they had this, this was their was passion. Side he didn't huh? say job. No, it wasn't this, a side. He didn't say house either. A, pa- <laughs> a passion, lives, lives. A a passion. Homeless people have lives. They there's have a, that. There's a photo. That I it's I, it's gone since both of my father's parents have passed, right? But uh, and I need to get my hands on this photo. But there's a family photo of my grandma, my grandpa, my dad, his brother, and his two sisters, all of them wearing Elvis jumpsuits, all of them. And it's like a you know like the Christmas style family photos where everyone's just like. Wow. It's like that. Is it is it, is it is it an Israeli dude doing a perfect Elvis or is it like? Jewish El- Jewish Elvis. So that's the thing. My grandpa and my dad like didn't speak English. Mm. They only it spoke in Elvis. Even better. So by the way, Elvis didn't speak English either. You'll see in the you'll see that towards oh, the end of his that life. Way. That's true. Towards the end of his life, Elvis was There's on so many en- pills. He's just English like, is like, the- <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, if you watch English. the last performance he had, uh, the last song he had, um, 
Fuck, I don't remember the name of the song. Uh, oh, I know the, 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 the piano. Darling, yeah. You know crazy? For... I don't know a single Elvis song. You hound dog, bro. You Jailhouse Rock. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You know one song. More... Oh, I didn't know you that. You are that the makes false sense. prophet that and also sense. just... And for someone that doesn't know Elvis song, you got a pretty good Elvis impersonation. <laughs> oh, me? How yeah. was a... Uh, um, I'm doing an impression of a black dude, white dude doing an impression of a black dude, so... Run. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, absolutely, Gio. Get your ass in. So, so here's the thing about uh, my dad and Elvis, right? There's a video of my dad where he literally is going on stage and he has a microphone in his hand, full jumpsuit, bedazzles, and he's like, <laughs> Is this just gibberish? You ever been to a place called Israel before? <laughs> is this Dice Clay? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it sounds like that. Can you look up Adam does Elvis 1995? I did. I'll Shit's show you wild. what my oh, results play are. Please. Can you play no, it? I couldn't. I, couldn't, oh, I don't I'll, think I found I'll, what you're looking for. I'll tell you which one it is. Your dad's famous in Israel. No, he's not. He's pretty much. No, <laughs> he's not. Oh, no. Go go on YouTube and search it. Elvis Presley. Adam yeah, Elvis is, is too hot of a topic right now. But Dylan's right about the N-word no, thing, no, though. No, in the Elvis movie, the, so Can the whole premise of... My fine. El you had the credentials. Fucking Elvis, you like the whole dog. movie is that. So oh, everyone thinks. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish. Yeah, finish, 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 finish by the way, by the way, I watched Natalie's face. I'm sorry, I love these little. De no, she's just like, like so Brody. serious, and then that's why. You know, I watch her go so serious. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> like her face. I Natalie, you got so excited. I'm so this ready. Is this is the right. only podcast that doesn't shit on their producer, and it's because the producer is so amazing. I just. Yeah, like, what yeah, do you mean? No. She's the. You don't have to butter me up just because you're the guest on the show. Please, Natalie. You're amazing. Wait. Look at your pops. This is your pops? Pops had a chest, low, low key. Looks By the like way, it. I've never seen Roey do stand up yeah. comedy. I've only ever seen him do karaoke. It was this. It was literally this, but a, another song. That's where you get wait, your wait, wait, listen, the, listen, the shoulders of Roey. Listen to him. <laughs> he's not even a good Elvis. That's the only. Nah, he's pretty good. English, he's pretty good. Once you put that outfit on, I'm convinced. Yeah, I'm convinced, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I don't know what Elvis is saying anyway. Me, Dude, me what's crazy? My is dad has never done Elvis cocaine. at Skate Fest. I'm down to do it. I mean, fucking Figs and uh, and Robbie did it, but I'll do it better. Well, but this is the. We need to go back because Dylan spoke over the part where he goes, "You ever been to a place called Israel before?" Oh wait, really? Wait. It's right at the beginning. I think he's about to start right now. I can kind of hear it. I can kind of hear it. What happened? Sorry, Wait. I keep trying to use my oh, shortcuts and it's I'm okay. still in YouTube. Just, I'll just yeah. not touch it. Here we go. You know, down there was a plane going the woods in the field. And it looks something like a turn What did he say? What we're wanting to do is the boat, darling. Now it's the boat. Darling. Alright, we miss it, but it's fine. Dude, you get the point. Dude, dude. We're in a place called he's he's a bad like Elvis. I almost said Israeli. He's what? a bad Elvis. Why do you think? No, that? he's a great Elvis. He there just was a one clap in that video. Hey, 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 and hey. music just gets claps for Yo, boo -doo. Have you maybe it was a set? It that, wasn't even a good boo. -doo. Maybe Yo, maybe it Israel, was a set that was filmed not in front of a lot of people. Dude. How dare you Honestly, shit on my father? He looks like, Elvis. Elvis he like he's performing for more people than I have before <laughs> in my comedy career. I'm not so, gonna hold you. you. I'm sorry. Side check. What? We went to a party truth. this weekend and we met a. We were in a, me, Kevin, and DC were all in a group with a, a friend of DC and Kevin's who never been like the same room with all three of us together. And we were all just you know doing what we do, having fun, but we're all just shitting on DC. At one point, he goes. Yo, is this why you're so like sad and say shit sad all week? Like, yeah, I don't know you how shit on by your, your friends. Your podcast is kind of like slavery, where I sit here and what? I think, how have you guys not revolted against Dylan yet? Like, you have the power to revolt and make him the. Bro, I was tripping overtake so him. hard there that it, I was tripping too much. I should have took bits and enjoyed myself, but I was just full on tripping. And everyone was kind of freaking me out a little bit, and I just wanted to be alone. <laughs> no, it's my favorite. It was the thing worst about time I've ever done. No, bro, on, when you I, when you get that high. If you ever feel like people, do you, I walk out. I'll yeah, I know. In. I just like, feel like there's nowhere to go, bro. I was just like, I go here, there's mad people. Yeah, you had like a stream chocolate bar, and this is why I, bro, I, I was I wanted so some, much of it, bro. And I go, yo, man, can I have another bite of that chocolate bar? And DC just go, was so squeezing in his pocket, pulls out, and goes, bro, just take it. I had, I had, I like, oh, I had dude's enough, bro. By the time you came, I was tripping, bro. No, dude, when like, you're oh, on man, mushrooms, bro. you're just like, Everyone can have everything, man. Honestly, actually, the speaking of mushrooms, and I'm, I'm, I'm. Let's talk about this now because I love, I love this group of people. Natalie, 
Talk about your first Whoa, mushroom trip I'm on s- Doped Up I'm and Dying. Enough. The Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke, smoke show. <laughs> Guys, I want to hear it. Our producer took a, uh, and I'm going to say, I don't like to say real drug, but c- took not yeah. marijuana. Not a, not Is that, one of am the I allowed to say ones. that? Can yeah. I say that? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to speak for you, but my, our producer took not marijuana for the first time. And this is Doped Up and Dying. Mm-hmm. The Sunday morning smoke show. And this is a, a big moment. I, I was Natalie's drug Sherpa. Which I took so seriously. Everyone serious. was my drug shirt, but you should have seen G. Uh, everyone was. Yeah, that is true. Was this skank fest? Yeah. This was skank fest? Dude, okay. you've never seen people more protective. It yeah. was. I, but I love it. But Takes like, a village. She texted me. She goes, um, hey, we, we had a deal. She was like, I was like, I want. You texted me when you take the shrooms. She, I was at my hotel. She texted me. She was like, just ate, took shrooms. I go, I started doing rain, like math. I was like, when did you take them? How long? Whose shrooms? How many? What they look like? And dude, I put on my hoodie and ran to the fucking festival. I like, found Natalie. It was protect like protect Natalie at all costs. Protect cost. Natalie at all costs. But it's, this is not my story to tell. Natalie DeChico, please tell us your story. Of, it was uh, great. First, it was. It was. Very... Tell us like the beginning. So how I they taste? That. Oh my god, just stop. Uh, just stop <laughs> yeah. like, oh my, I'm Thank gonna, you, bro. bro. It's I'm gonna kill Dylan. He, it's so hard for, it to, for him to let someone else tell their story, bro. Like, no, you guys need to revolt against Slave Master Dylan, dude. <laughs> it's not slavery. Stop saying I'm gonna that. make you come back as only Elvis <laughs> if you're ever gonna go okay. out to Dope Dope now. I'm trying to talk about Elvis. Bro, you're only allowed to come back I as Elvis. Story. Okay. It's not please. slavery because we're all not making money. Please stop so. saying that. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I am. But. <laughs> But it's like, how are you guys letting him shit on you? You should be shitting on we him. We shit on Dylan all the time. Dude, what are you dude? talking about? We shit on Dylan okay, all good, the time. Good, good, good. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I want to hear Natalie's story. <laughs> yes, let, why don't you, you stop talking? <laughs> White man. <laughs> so embarrassing. Um, you honestly mute us all. Yeah, I will. I should. During my story. Um, so my, sorry, it's so fucking loud in there. It's the on the gate, guys. Oh, damn. Hear, I heard it in my headphones. You hear nonsense in the I can hear it in, the, I can hear it in hey, my headphones, too. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, it's his birthday. I wish the it's camera followed birthday. about. Oh, is it? Yeah, Jalen made a fool of himself just now. I just see, bro. Some of those moments are so funny, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jalen just made a fool of himself. You just made a fool of Give it two minutes. <laughs> I know. I know. Kevin's stupid, bro. I know you're gonna lose at the moment you went out there. <laughs> I walk out there, I they look face. at me. They're like, "Is he really mad?" I go, "Bro, just say what, yell whatever." The pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, gang, no. gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Natalie's story will not be deduced. Derek, Derek Jesus. D- deterred so a, he's a Latin king out here. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, they got brat all day. <laughs> right, no more. We, we can't see window jokes. They can't oh, see the yeah. window. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't like that. I just did that on camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Natalie DeChico I'm not. A tell us your dude. stream story all on right. Dope Up and Dying. All right, for real this time. For real this time. For real this time. For real. For real. Um, so my assistant in the recording booth gave them to me, and he was like. I, I watched Yorgos almost throw up trying to take shrooms the day before. So my assistant was like, here's a bag of Skittles. Shove the mushrooms and as many Skittles as you can in your mouth and it'll get down easier. And he was absolutely right. It was great. Yeah. It worked out really well. You didn't do any liquid? And then I drank a water after it, but yeah. to get the taste out of my mouth. It was Sometimes like I like Skittles. doing like an iced tea or like a Coke or whatever. Shit is disgusting. Um, it was hard to find anything that wasn't uh, liquid death. Did you ch- Did you try tasting it or not at all? Not really. No. Okay, I'll say this with shrooms. I'm actually pretty good at eating them. Watching somebody freak out like my girlfriend, doesn't matter if they're chocolate, like the ones you gave me, the Reese's mm. one, you can even taste it. Yeah, I love it. Dude, she's gagging. That's why I and I went to go take one and I was like, can you stop? Like, you're making me believe this shit sucks. But nobody cares about eating the shrooms. What matters yeah, is what, what, the what, effects, no, no, how some, was the trip. Some people really yeah. care. How was the trip? How long did it take to kick in? Like, no, great. these are the minutia. I'm not asking about the, the, the meat of The trip was good. I took not an insane amount. I talked good. to Tanner the next day, and he was like, could you fall asleep afterward? And I was like, yeah, not, not super quick, but not super long either. And he was like, oh, then you didn't take enough. Yeah, but you were on them for like, like how long do you think from the- Four mo- hours? Three, four hours. That's about yeah. enough. A show's yeah, supposed like to be a six hour trip if you really, if, if you went, really if you went deep. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's you a micro deep. trip, dude. There's it's a micro trip, which is, again, yeah, a sad. perfect it's trip. Really for good. Your yeah, it was great. Do you, it was do you think you had visuals? That's, that's no. taking drugs as an adult. It was mostly it. Yeah. all um, physical, like yeah. tingly, and like giggly. Yeah, emotional. Yeah, I was obsessed with the guy on stage that was doing like the marionette puppets. I remember that. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Who invited him? Jay. Mm-hmm. 
That's what's so funny about shrooms. You'll be watching the dumbest shit ever, and then you'll be like, "This is like an expression Dude, of God." There was a guy <laughs> with a. Uh, a I was pup. watching. I was high on. So sorry. Go ahead. So there was a guy with a puppet at Skankfest at uh, the he karaoke appar- on Thursday. Apparently, he was the guy who did the puppets for Team America World Police. That's no. fire. I That's don't know what he had that a is. backpack. With, you know. That's so funny. Um, I, I, I saw it. Team America. I'll show pictures. See if you can it. find it. But um, long story short, the just, film actors. This killed. dude was doing this puppet act with like song, um, with like songs that she's singing it during um. J- Big J's karaoke on Thursday night. Jay highly just goes, pro- I-, I didn't know this, goes, I guess invited him to come to the gym. So we're all sitting there, all like the little comics area. And this dude with the backpack that's like lighting up and changing colors and with mm-hmm. a marionette, with like a, a, a puppet. His backpack had the scenes from this movie, yes. which is the puppet 69ing, cutting back and forth. Yes. Fine. And like, and like, and like, like, like snoozing and dude, but everyone was like, America, literally, so, he walked up to the stage and was like again, trying to get on and people saw them was like, yeah. what's going on? And he had a backpack and they were like, oh, he's like, oh, well, Jay invited me. He's like, okay, we're just making sure you're not trying to like Hurt anyone? Because he has and then, puppets. No, because you said like that, no one like, knew who no one he was. Who he was so Jay forgets everyone. Obviously, I'm sure he was a high when he asked, but just doesn't matter. They're all up there singing. So towards the end, he just goes up there and in the corner starts doing it. Everyone at Skank Fest, whatever, everyone's high as shit. The amount of people that were like, "Dude, that jam was amazing." I couldn't take my eyes off the fucking puppet though. It was tripping me out. Everyone from Alex to Natalie, everyone was like, "I can't." This puppet dude guy. He had this, this kid. Puppets would freak me the out. The puppet though, needs to leave, dude. He had this kid following him around. Who I I went up to Dylan and I was like, "That looks like Blind Mike from the future." Because yes, he looked mm-hmm. like Blind Mike, but Kids a little bit taller too. and with sunglasses. And he was following the guy around with like a, a GoPro. Yeah, he's a puppet What was your guy. favorite moment Skate from Skate Fest, like Natalie? Ha- um, good place to have a bad trip. Favorite yo. part that was sanctioned or favorite part like of the weekend? Just what is like the part of like that you um Cuz my favorite part of the of the actual events was uh the jams, all of them. Yeah. Probably the first one cuz it had the most songs that, that I liked. That should look fun. What was the biggest surprise of Skate Fest for you? Um How many uh how many comics came up to me and their first instinct was to give me a hug? Oh. That was really that was sweet. Nice. I was like sweet. I was like <laughs> You guys know who I am. Natalie's mad huggable. People like you, Nat. Yeah, Thank you. Nat- Nat- you're very nice. There's, it's literally a thing, like, in the world of podcasting and radio. It's yeah. like everyone shits on the Actually, producer. Actually, kind of whack, though. Like, that's, no, but that's, like, the culture, and that's, like, it's funny, and people enjoy it. And Natalie is so nice and sweet and good you don't understand. that nobody, there. you can't even touch her. It yeah. is It is a interesting dynamic where, as much as, like, we make fun I, of think in, I think in the beginning, and I don't even want to say like Natalie's, Natalie's beginning, but there was times, like, you know, maybe we were, like, maybe me and Natalie was like, come on, Natalie, like, bring that up. Like, what are we doing here? Like, maybe just joke Not around. Me, you? Yeah, Definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. Natalie. Yeah. No, 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 we all take equal blame. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, that was off us. The one, one, that was all. us. Off the one, what's wrong? I'm listening, and he's yeah. like, he's like, we yell yeah. at Nat about things. On, no, I never. We never all jokingly texted Nat when we Listen, were supposed to, yeah, right? Fact, the only thing I've I never yelled at Nat about any graphics. That's not true, that's not true, that's not true. I'm joking, I'm joking. The only thing I do is, hey, Nat, that's do right. I owe you money? That was pretty funny. You know what I mean? Or I sent her... Last year, the only time I ever text Nat is like, hey, can you pl- possibly do this clip? Which is on, I've only done like twice. Mm-hmm. And the other thing was like, hey, I don't know if he gave you any money for Christmas. He was <laughs> it's a good system. We yeah, got bad cop, system. okay cops, and you know what I'm saying? Delusional, delusional cop. Barrier delusional cop. <laughs> 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 delusional cop. Wait, I'm gonna That's go communicating ca- cop. Kind of cares cop, but not really. On leave cop. Us, <laughs> like, you, get, you call from DC, he's like, yo, am I allowed back in the office? He's like, bro, no. <laughs> That would be a blast for a cop. I would just be riding around. I would just arrest people for fun if I was a cop. This is why you're not, not on the force anymore. anymore. You know, you just drive around and be like, sir, hey, just put Yo, it in the do back. do that now. Just do citizen's arrest. Yo. No, not citizen, but like a cop. Imagine being a cop. You went up to someone, told them they're under arrest. Oh, like, I could never imagine you being a cop. You put them in the back of the Cops car. The devil. And you just fucking laugh, bro. Just like, yeah. bro, you're not really under arrest, bro. I'm just, <laughs> too, I'm just lowly, son. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just lowly, son. Talk to you. Uh, I'm a sociopath. <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying, I, I, know, I, I, go I got a kid. I need to get into the mind of a teenager real quick. What's going on? That's pretty funny. I'm going P, and then when I come back, I'm going to talk about Elvis. Okay, yeah, we'll, actually, we'll go back I want to finish what he was saying yeah. about. No, no, no but um, I do want to finish what I was saying about uh, Natalie. Just, I mean, even with uh, Roman going to piss, this is fam episode briefly. <laughs> It, I, I don't like, I mean, uh, as much as in the beginning, we might have done the cold Hey, up. yo, my uh, man, I don't see swallow. the window. Uh, let me fucking explain, you <laughs> asshole. This guy doesn't window do- bits this episode. Hey, yo, hey, yo, my mans, my mans. My mans. Retention. My mans. Fucking retention. If you're going to eat a goddamn banana, get on camera. Get on camera. Oh, my God, the gayest things are happening right now, what? dude. I'm about, to take, camera, picture, I'm about to take a picture and show yeah. it to the camera. Bro, bro. Adam, oh, fuck. Adam. Yo, the on the gay boys are for prison, and I'm guaranteeing you, they are slightly gayer than more normal people that haven't been to prison. 
on the gate. Gio just went like this. I'll be real with you, Gio. Bro. Maybe not you, but Derek sus. <laughs> Derek <laughs> sus. Yo, Adam is over here glizzy in this what? banana. And you know that's against no your religion. Way. Yo, to display I homosexuality. Like I don't like this, dog. <laughs> your boy's deep throwing a banana. <laughs> I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot tonight. Oh, shit, I didn't know we had cameras out there. That's yeah, fire. They can no, hear us they're going to go shake Dave Chappelle's hand tonight after deep throwing a, a banana. Are they shaking Dave Chappelle's hand? Probably, I don't know. It's the only part that even mattered. By the way, there's a Chappelle party tonight. Oh, at the stand? Okay. Yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, yo, Jay, yo, can you go to the stands Instagram? Jay had the best comment. I don't want to. Uh, it's just the stand post. You know what they do? Always do for uh, Chappelle. Like, it's like the smoking, smoking comedian emoji, mm-hmm. and then it just had uh, Jay comments. He goes, "Oh, I'm not in town, fellas." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "That was just so cute." Yeah, oh, Roey, I waited for you. Uh, you saw- missed, you missed the gay shit. It was insane. Well, nah, was being nice to Natalie? No, oh, they showed him deep throwing a banana. It was wild, dude. And you then, really and then Derek it. got so excited, he, he hugged Adam him. from the back and humped him. And then Adam kept doing it. And then Adam, I don't like, think we can ever have Adam on the podcast now. You gotta have Adam on the podcast. Yeah, we do. I, I, I take it back. That was wild. I like Adam. Yeah, yeah, Adam's kid. funny as fuck. I'm actually out of town, fellas. <laughs> Aaron <laughs> Berg, I started smoking. <laughs> 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 Jesus. But I do want to bring it back. Um, it's funny you say that. that that's a trope. I think. As a younger podcaster, I want to almost say comic, younger podcaster and the doped up shit, I think if you go back, you could hear me, hear me try that at least. Dude, it is not. Natalie just went like, yeah. That's so funny because that was like my first three episodes and then it ended. I, dude, yeah, it's not. I, I get Na- it on rap anyway. Like, yeah, that's Natalie, really the only place I yeah. get it. It's from. a hard thing when you talk about like, Natalie's legit producer on this fucking show. Like, yeah. She's a part of it. Like not like when the cameras turn off and shit. Even when fuck the editing and posting, I'm the we're re- still talking about the show. Yeah, and, and the truth is that if if I was you know selling clubs out in theaters, I'd probably um, you know make more fun of you. But you know, <laughs> I don't really deserve you. I'm dead. Bro. I'm dead. You know that I used to like your edits, but you could take some tips from Dylan. You know, <laughs> dude, she does uh, every week reluctantly. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I drag my feet. I'm like, you're right, <laughs> dude. The amount of, I'm t- but that, that's also why it doesn't work. I'll be real with you. I mean, because she's like a. I really always said that when DC first came on the show, I go, dude, you're not third mic. You're fourth mic behind Natalie. I go, that's not you. Okay. Don't you don't trump. <laughs> I don't, you don't wow. have shit on me like this, dog. Wow. Right here, bro. What he you made doing, it bro? You, I said, DC. He's no, like, no, this no, is no. what I said. He's like, he's just, why are you As a mad? joke. I was, I was making I was, fun of DC. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you good? Hey, Kev, you good? Uh, I know, I know. I'm validity. No, but because... Poli- <laughs> I'm validity. <laughs> I know, I'm hey, validity. Have you heard Ur- Ermi's 10 yet? Ermi's 10? No, but long story short, though. The, 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 the whole shooting on the producer thing is hard, played out, and uh, Natalie literally does everything on this fucking podcast. Did she get old? Because comics can't do shit by themselves, so they need their producer. You know what oh I mean? So. All right, bro. Wait, hold oh, on. Grab a, a chair, beer, grab, a chair, grab a chair. Grab a chair. Can I have a beer? Bring Everyone, it in. You got to slide Thank one, you gotta slide one down. Yo, somebody, love... somebody got to raise their mic up, though. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yo, put those headphones down. Run those headphones. Run the, yo, run those yo, the headphones, energy dude. of the hey, on yo, the gate boys on the is gate, unparalleled. Yo, I want to come on on the gate, man. Mongo. I'm trying to come on. Three, yo, let me get a sit. Let's do it. Yo, nah, nah. All right, we can do a three, but I want my own episode, Gio. Oh, I won't grab one. Please, please. I'll just take. Just bring it. Don't plug me. Let's do plugs. Let's do plugs. Let's do plugs. I like that. The Spanish guy walked in the room and we just made him get an order. Cerveza, cerveza, cerveza. In our defense, he did just naturally go to that mode. Thank you. Don't worry. I got help you. So, I got you. I got shout you. out on the gate. Shout out, out on the gate for sponsoring yo, this episode. Yo, this, yo, this, this ad break is sponsored by On the <laughs> Gate. <laughs> Go follow them. It, it's there funny it because this like the uh, oh. people, the guys from On the Gate, uh, know more. Gio, move in. They know more about dope, being doped up and dying. You know what I mean? Like, we're, <laughs> oh, the we know about. We know about. Uh, we know about overdose. Have you guys ever overdosed? Oh, uh, no. Nah. You I guys are not about that life. Then. I accidentally smoked Change an amphetamine in my joint once. When I was nah, I got the credentials yeah, yeah. recently. Closest I got. He's, he's overdosed. He's overdosed. Hey, don't I overdose on like coffee creamer and shit yeah. myself. All right, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. The music's on, guys. Let's go around the table, guys. Thank you so much for following Doped Up and Dying, the Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke show. Make sure to follow the Instagram, Doped Up Comedy. Go follow the Comedy Club, guys. Every Thursday. Thursday and Sunday, Sunday's black ass comedy show, and also doing the house show every fucking month. The doped up and dying friends and family show. It comes November 5th. Guys, if you're hearing this, guess what? You already missed it. It was sold out. I'm saying it now, it was sold out. 
because that's how we do it. Guys, go follow me at Dylan J. Negri. And guys, uh, keep supporting. If you like, subscribe. All that shit helps this podcast. And if you're listening right now, those yes, juicy sir. ears of yours, go five-star review this shit because that <laughs> really helps. That's a good, that, 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 is, that is that good, good sauce. Do, 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 so do, please do, do, do. go give us that five-star review and give us that good, good sauce. Kevin Sanchez. Uh, Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram. Wild Kevin Sanchez on That's a Twitter. Wild boy. Wild, wild Kevin boy. Sanchez on YouTube. Wild it's, boy. Things are coming. <laughs> DC. Out here bringing Brilliant. validity. Yo, follow me on Instagram um, at DC Williams Comedy. And that is it because I like to keep the talking to a minimum. Social media ruins your life. Um, also, follow Dothum Comedy. Everything Dylan just said. Please continue to like, subscribe, and comment. We appreciate you guys, and um, thank you, man. And I the guest for this evening, the dropout Elvis, Israel, Israeli Elvis. Sorry, I almost got there. Jesus Rowie Rosen. Christ, you butchered that. Uh, Rowie Just Rosen. Just like your fucking I'm... father butchered the legacy of Elvis. My father was a fantastic Elvis in person. <laughs> I don't believe he was. <laughs> Rowie Rosen on Instagram, R-O-E-Y-R-O-Z-E-N. That's you, look it. Like, you look like you got banned from your country from like exposing classified information. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, dude. I wish. Like you were behind WikiLeaks. Oh, I, if I was behind WikiLeaks, I would oh, not be sitting did. here right now. And, and and before we introduce him, the birthday boy himself. Happy Today's birthday, his day. Oh, happy and birthday! We're gonna give you a that, dope bro. and die. Oh. Happy birthday! Cheers, man! Happy, happy birthday! birthday. No, we just made him bring not drinks not and shit. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> just take cheers. Oh, and yeah, fucking you're squad yeah. hating on you though. Yo, the window was going hard. <laughs> As the, they should. Yo, show the window. Show the window. As they should. Wait, put it out the window. As yeah. they should. Box them. Fuck Wait. <laughs> go do only. Right now, go in the camera. This how niggas in the hood show love. Yo, when you get out of school, I'm gonna beat you ass, bro. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a jail visit right now. And he's like, yo, when we get out, you bro. You child support. Yeah. You owe me child Ma, support. Ma, it ain't even like out. that. It ain't even like that, Ma. Guys, Gio Perez from On The Gate, 23 and 1 comedy show. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Ooh. Can, 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 can I do my plugs? Yeah, let him do his plugs. And then leave. I'm going to do my plugs <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> All right. Uh, when does this come out? Is this coming out this Sunday. Week? This Sunday. This Sunday. All right. Uh. Uh, next Tuesday, well, yeah, next Tuesday, mm-hmm. uh, uh, New York Comedy Festival, uh, we will be at Caroline's. Me and Derek Dresser Excuse doing me. a comedy yes, rap sir. battle. Rap yes, sir. The I gotta first see this shit, bro. comedy rap battle we might have in to history. <laughs> I gotta see Derek this Derek really trying to prove that on the Puerto Rican side. Derek. Especially at Caroline's, right? That's Tuesday, 945 at Caroline's. Shout out to Reggie Kush. He's putting that together. Shout out to Super Reggie. Tough. Uh, Funny guy. Boop, boop. Yeah, next day, November 9th, uh, New York Comedy Festival. 23 and 1, the fucking convicts are in the festival again. We'll be at the stand, do, 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 do. upstairs room, 7 p.m. We got a dope-ass lineup. I'm too drunk to remember everybody, but it's fucking going to be great. And then November 26th, I'll be at Hartford Funny Bone at 4 p.m. Boop. Boop. Uh, cleaning up tables for the 6 p.m. show. <laughs> nah, I'll be there. I'll be there with Aaliyah Janine. Shout out to her. Uh, oh, yeah. Ray, De- uh, uh, Ray De Thomas. We got a, uh, this is a dope ass. That's why up. you've been washing your hands so much. Yeah, bro, because uh, my pH balance is off. You okay. I mean? so, <laughs> right. When I take a piss, my hands smell a little funny. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta take that care of that. You want to give a bitch a yeast infection. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? shit. Gio That's Perez, right. welcome you. to the show. Thank you for coming up, on buddy? Halfway Point. Thank you for having Dude, me. Dude, how man. you feeling? Oh, dude, I'm great, man. Well, uh, I, I hate partying. to ask this, but uh, you know, how old? What's the age? 36, bro. Dude, you look great. 36, 36. chambers of fucking Holy men. shit. That's that's fucking fire. Yeah. That's fucking fire. Yeah, well, I know I'm going to be all right. We kind of got the same hairline, and I feel like I, you had it for I a was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. So. That's, that's the only thing that gives up my age where I'm like, yo, he might be in the 30s because my hairline, yeah. you know, is just almost in my back pocket. <laughs> like, almost but you keep it crispy. You keep it clean, though. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm Dominican, so yeah. we have no choice but the, you know. What made you get rid of the long hair? Your hair used to be like long shit. Uh, dude, man, I look like a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you look like a piece of shit. I was I was gonna tell you that, but then I said, nah. Is there a ch- did I meet you with long hair? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, look yeah. like you so like like you're a Puerto Rican acid dealer or some shit like that. Oh, like, 100%. You, I mean, bro. He's still nice. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't sell. I just do it now. I, <laughs> get, I get high on my own supply. I feel you. I feel you. Hell yeah. Gio, I want to uh, ask is, uh, you, you had plans tonight. Big yes. birthday bash plans. Oh, dude. I had a great fucking night. So I got booked to do. I got booked to host the 8 p.m. main room at the stand. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Don't go, don't clap yet, but I will take the pounds just because I need some love. <laughs> I need some love. <laughs> but y'all got to take you, that yeah. back because I got to eat. I got a text message three days ago from the booker. Shout out to Pat, my guy. 
And he goes like, yo, sorry to ruin your birthday plans, but the show's canceled. Damn. Chappelle is taking the room. Ooh. Oh, nice. Are you, yeah. Are you going to that? Yeah. Wait, of wait. course I'm going to that. Hell I'm yeah. running up on Dave and be like, yo, listen, man, you took my hosting spot. I want six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and I want forty thousand dollars. Cause Minimal. I wanna run I all forty thousand I wanna run an all black comedy show. No, I'm uh, <laughs> he put you I feel like he put you up. I feel like you might be able to get up tonight, Gio. It is you your think birthday. I might do that? Gio, I'll say this much. And this I say if I'm trans too, I'm like, yeah, I'm a trans. <laughs> yeah. This it's is you the first time he was on the show you're talking yes. about. Yes! Yo, way younger. Listen, you were Yo, big. y'all want to see something crazy? Yeah. And and I did take a shower since then. Get close in. No Same way! Shirt. Yeah. Oh, on the wow. gate, still repping. Let's go. Oh, Yo. I like that. I like that logo, so that's fire, bro. Yeah, some bitch I used to fuck Some with. things never change. <laughs> was dude, a graphic designer. Dude, dude. Yeah. she same she shit just, with this logo. Wait. Yeah. She used, so to, she, she used to fight with yes. making all my logo. I used to fuck with her. She made Derek one too. She made Derek. Ooh. She made Derek. Th- th- no, no, not Gaines. No, not Gaines. Mine too, my Derek. Oh, no, this is a different girl. You don't know this girl. <laughs> no, my, no, we didn't fuck the same bitch. Oh, uh, no, I'm he's not saying, saying you fucked. He's saying look at the similarities. What's my the, gra- the girl that I used to fuck, uh, I fucked the random bitch that made this logo and the No Need that, logo. That one? The, uh, the, the, one the cereal the box. Yo, box. bro, shout out to Toxic Dick, bro. Yo, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Toxic, toxic Dick, dick. gets replaced. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yo, yo, right? toxic shout out to dick. bitches with, he- with, with helpful pussy. I, yo, I like that. Dude. Super helpful. helpful that is, I, I'm sorry. I didn't even see her laughing. Helpful pussy. <laughs> helpful <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Helpful <laughs> pussy. All That's right. the new wave, yeah. man. Natalie, uh, has Natalie has a guy... Pussy? No, don't say that. No, 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 no. Has a guy ever <laughs> fucked you into being his assistant? She's never fucked a guy. She, my, my question was... No, yeah, she's I, been I, with I a guy. I only... You never... Nah. So wild. Never. Oh, because you said you dated she, guys. She was, only one, yeah. Uh, like, Actually, can I say something? you fuck them? Natalie, you can cut this out if you want. Actually, it's quite the opposite. Natalie fucked her guy until... He became into being a woman. Yeah. Nice. Wait, you Wait. pegged the guy into being. Natalie, I don't want to. Natalie, I love you so much. This is why, by the way, that's why we don't shit on her because she's a mic. It's, it's hard to it's hard to explain it without the context. My girlfriend's trans. She was my boyfriend for years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's kind of like Caitlyn Jenner, like still. Bro, a, like, when I found out Natalie still, still, still fucked her dude to becoming a woman. Bro, there's no one more G than Natalie DeChico, bro. Yeah. That's Natalie DeChico. Wait, Natalie. Natty D. Natty, no. Natty. Like you fucked the manhood out of a man. Wait, 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 shh, watch DC. I'm process. trying to put it together. My Jamaican brain can't make sense. <laughs> I've uh, told you this before. Okay, you did. All right, and you guys, did I ask you if you guys? Goes, I'm have, sorry, I just blocked it no, out no, of my memory. You guys have like vaginal sex? Is that too yeah. much? Okay, okay, cool. No, no, I knew yeah, yeah. That, that your boyfriend, I mean, your girlfriend. Why does that trans, matter? Right? Yeah, I was just trying to figure out. I didn't know that you knew her before. Before. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know y'all were dating then either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, it's so beautiful. About There's right. a lot of dudes. Yo, Natalie's like just so could... accepting and tolerant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Per- Damn. Perks of being oh. bisexual. It was really convenient. I mean, something has Only to level out the shit that DC yeah. says on this podcast. Yeah. Yo, how great would it be if, like, every few years, now goes to a girl and be like, Ah, you know what? It's time for you to man it up. Ah, <laughs> and then every few years, like, Hey, 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 <laughs> shave your legs. Natalie, Natalie, <laughs> Natalie. Has there ever been a moment where, like, she was like. Hey, listen, I'm really the man, though. <laughs> Don't no, ever forget. What? Have you ever talked to a trans person in your life? Yes. Okay, I was just checking. I had a girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, I mean, not even back in the day, no. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always been the same. Like, it's always kind of same the same, vibe? yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, Which you means I, sh- I should have known back then. <laughs> uh, was he, was, uh, back then, was, were, was your partner more flamboyant? Uh no, she was very super closeted. When Just you like, when you speak quiet, about a trans shy kid. a trans person's past, you use their current pronouns. Yeah, that's that's, of, that's yeah. yeah. I, by the way, I'm literally not that's making a joke. That's a good practice. I'm actually yes. seriously asking. That's Don't a, yeah. name them. That's yeah. a good, no, that's a good question. No, because I, I want to know because I'm no, still real. confused at where was this a guy that you pegged or like? Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> a guy that identified as a girl or a girl that identified as a guy was a guy. Now a girl was a guy. Yeah, and and be, uh, yeah, became it's a girl. Now. Yeah. yeah. So that was your long term relationship. Yep. We're still together. Oh, so that's your first and your only really. Yeah. I'm, oh, got you, got you. I'm, got you. I'm sorry. Like, to, I don't want to sound ignorant, but I Here, was that picturing like, your video so he could look this way. I was yeah, picturing. Oh yeah, yeah. So you don't talk. I that was. Way. I was picturing a girl who you know 
a biological, sorry, a biological yeah, girl. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. The opposite. I thought like you know you were. Yeah, most people do. lesbian. Yeah, so I'm you're not. Yeah, yeah. Do so uh, like, just do two shots. I, I, I have a question. You're have cheating a, that. I have I have a serious question for now. <laughs> I hack the system. You definitely yeah, you're <laughs> yeah. a hack bisexual. Yeah. Can I, wait, can I ask a serious? Like, oh, wait, 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 when did so, this become the Natalie interview episode? Yeah, sure, I, sure, I will sure, say sure. you earned it. <laughs> you earned it. All right, all right. But genuine, does it feel like you're dating a different person? Uh, no, it's Good just question. been a gradual uh, evolution, kind of a thing. You can say That's transition. Awesome. I transition. <laughs> it's been a tra- uh, you can say transition. Yes, evolve. But like, I mean, <laughs> evolve I've, to a woman. We've been we've been together since I was a junior in high school. Like, I'm also wow. a different, I'm also a different person than I was when yeah. I was course, a junior in high course. school. Oh. You know? Okay. I met my girlfriend who, when I was a junior in high school, and she's the same exact person. And I'm like, thank God. And really? Sure kids do? Crazy. Uh, no, but I do have a streak of girls. Like, some of the girls that I've been with do kind of look like little boys. And I don't oh. like that aesthetically I'm a pedophile, but, like, not <laughs> actually. Wait, you have a type. That's been something I'm struggling with. You have a type. Yeah, but the type yeah. of girls that look like little that. boys, and that's like, I'm not little comfortable titties. with that. Wait, hold on. you saying you've... Only dated girls who look like little boys. Not like, only. You're not, not only. He dates a lot of skinny girls. It sounds like skinny like, girls. Yeah, yeah. He dates like little titty yeah. chicks. Little, I, like little I love titties little titties. titties. I like little titties. I too. love little titties. I, do, I, I, do. I'm, I'm, I don't discriminate with yeah. different yeah. types of titty sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I discriminate. Yeah. If they're too big. That's a problem. No, there's never if too, too big. big no. Too big. Crazy. Natalie, too big is annoying. Natalie, have you ever been like? When are you going to get the tits? Hey, I mean, hey, what are we doing She's here? working on it. Hard. Oh, okay. If, she, we can't afford it. Natalie doesn't want to be interviewed anymore, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious about more. I'm sorry. I'm so you the... paying for those titties? <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to be the one that pays yeah. for those titties. Yeah. Yeah. City boys. Uh, wait, Natalie, <laughs> I have a question. When when, when, the, when she told you she, uh, she was uh, officially transitioning, uh-huh. were you like, Fuck! So much shit's on me now. Uh, oh my god! Like, you imagine everything. you no. just transition just to stop paying the rent. Like you live with your girlfriend, bro. He's just like, yeah, I'm a woman. City now, boy so, with yeah. it. City boy with it. I will City say, my I hate taking the trash down all the time. That's like a man job in my house. You know, I'll that. transition just for that. No, oh. I will transition for the garbage. Hey, dishes, I will, Dylan, I will, Dylan. I'll, I'll cut my dick off to never wash dishes. dishes again. <laughs> no, if you get your dick off, you'll do I dishes. Don't, yo, I would. I don't care if I never have sex again, as long as I don't have to wash another fucking dish. What about a dishwasher, Gio? What are you talking about? I cut my dick off. <laughs> I'll get the dick cutter before I get a dishwasher. Yo, uh, listen, there are mad people who have cut off their dicks through history, and they've been happy are there? historically. Who? In a, yo, in the yo, Chinese Viserys Empire. Yo, Viserys from Game of Thrones. He cut his dick off? I never That's watched Game of Thrones. Not a real person. Did he accomplish a lot? True history, guys. I don't know if you know this, but in it's based a, on true history. In the Chinese oh, okay, Empire. I was, I was in jail for a little bit. I, may, I might be a little fucked up. <laughs> if you worked for the Chinese emperor in the palace, you had to cut off your dick. So you wouldn't like fuck a monk. Yeah, you'd say you yeah. wouldn't fuck any of the harem that you girls. Could focus. Whoa, but yeah. isn't that funny how historians knew, like, this is how I hope that's true. much this... It is true. Your... your testosterone your horniness can affect your life that they're like they know like you need to remove that shit Damn. to focus a thousand percent and the Chinese I, I don't think are doing it, serving the kingdom that works Fo- what else are you gonna focus on you don't got your you can't play with your dick you can't think about I'll your dick I'll be real with you dude if you cut off my dick there would be nothing I focus on every day more than my life I, every day of my life I'd wake up and go Damn, dude, I'm Dylan Dickless. No, bro, yeah, Dickless bro, Dylan. Dylan. You'd be question. funnier I next week. I walk into the Emperor's palace bro. like, yo, Dickless Dylan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan. Dylan. You know what DC said? He said you'd be funnier next week. Next week, you'd be funny. If, if all of us had no dick, we'd be funnier. Pickleless Dill. <laughs> 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 I don't know. There's a lot of people with no dicks on stage. Like Not only, when, 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 you're, when your girlfriend transitioned, you were like, damn, your jokes aren't hitting the same. Mm. Oh, shit. Damn, is that true? <laughs> did she did she get less funnier as she transitioned? Oh, that's funny. Uh, that is that's like I'm the funny joke, one though. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, I made the jokes. Yeah, <laughs> that's so wild. Uh, doped up and died. I want to throw a wig this on. segment. Throw a wig on and let it chick. Let me smash you with this. Wig no, on. understanding. That's some next level shit. This I, segment, understanding. No, because like now that I know this, I literally I, I thought you Most respect her way that. more. Yeah. I, I don't I don't talk about it a ton. Honor. That's good. That's good. I like that. It's called having a There's private There's people who life. do that and they can't stop talking about it, but I like that. I like that. I, I do <laughs> like that it. for the fact that she can, um, you know, like be in that type of relationship and still work for gas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why I'm like, yo, I respect Natalie. Yeah, Natalie has to have tough skin. But did you, you, and and, oh, and yeah. she understands but the whole thing you, that you these are just jokes. She gets it, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never, you know, because anybody in her, anybody else in a situation will be like, this is weird. disgusting. Yeah, these guys why are, are you to, why yeah, does it yeah. matter what she was born right, as? Right. Like, Natalie just takes it in a stride and that's why. But it's her situation. You deserve the world, Natalie. 
It's her situation. Like, she came into, like, a shark environment, and they're like, wait, you're bisexual? Wait, your girlfriend's trans? And then she's like, yeah. I turned her. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> no way! You know, real ass dude! Real ass dude! I, I, like, fuck, I fucked him into a her. Right. <laughs> but she also leaves out the part where she's like, this is my first boyfriend and the only person I've ever been with in my life. It's love. It's love. Which love. makes it kind of cute, though. You it know what I mean? It's I like, don't think Lewis knows. Oh. He, doesn't, he yeah. doesn't know. By the way, <laughs> net, no one ever tell him. Honestly, this is like a, <laughs> he doesn't deserve to know. This is like a future not Disney yet. movie. Not yet. It is right. Like a, yeah. I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Let yeah. him find out in the ten year anniversary. It's, Natalie. Just, it's good. The real reason is that I didn't. I don't want it super. Po- like this is. No, I don't know. No you offense should, to our views. This, ah! is, nah, ah! this is good for our views. Wait, you know what's so right, wait, 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 wait. Call to the action. Reach. Every listener that is still listening right now, post on Lewis's Instagram every day to prove to Natalie. <laughs> like we, two Natalie, John from the stand was like, hey, her just talking about on me on the podcast. He was supposed to be the guest today. No, fans, fucking all right, all right, show all right, Natalie all right, Jesus. what we can really do. If it gets do. back to him Sometimes that way, I, I am mad. Tight, bro. And I'll pay for it. <laughs> Eventually. If it gets back to him that way, I won't be mad about it. Fans, I, wild. I was going to say some wild shit, and I was like, no, don't do that. What but, I think uh, is so funny about your viewership is that like every episode will be like, 100, 150, 200. That's not YouTube. That's not on, Wait, on, I know, but hold on. I'm not shitting on you. Hold on. But then you had that it's one that you had that one Indonesian guy on and got like 300,000. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, fucking yeah. mad. Insane. You know, thank you for bringing what we already knew to our attention. He has a pee. Thanks, Rowie. So wait, so <laughs> can I talk about the Elvis movie? No. Yeah, uh, not that what you just said. Uh, you got any topics that you want to hit on? I see you got a paper for two I, things written. Uh, one was Elvis. So I just okay. crossed out. Yeah, um, but, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I never got to talk about it. Um, the Elvis movie, bro. buddy. All right, okay, so I'm going to finish your point, about? and then we're going to move on we to whatever do Elvis again. Paper. No, no, we're not yeah, doing I'm Elvis. Done, I'm done with we're that. We're doing Elvis. Buddy, you can come back. You're allowed to come back. Okay, we're moving on. I think we should give Rowie seventy yeah, seconds to talk yeah, about like his like Elvis. You know I'm I'm like he talked I'm about Elvis for a minute, but he just unless we're time stamping it, and that's why no, I don't care. Do that, but okay, I would just finish your point. Go ahead. Wait, wait. We got a minute on the clock. All right, just go ahead. Go. Basically, the whole entire movie was just like because Elvis is good, like people are canceling him because like he stole rock and roll from black people mm-hmm. and the whole movie Chuck is just Barry. like trying to prove that elvis was a black guy and like what? the whole thing it's like he literally goes into a black church when I he's a child hope that's true i'm bro. dead yeah, ass i'm true. dead they're ass. showing you why he it, was it shows, he, why it's like he he's was. playing tag with his friends and all of his friends are black and yeah. then he goes into a black church and they're faster than and him, then like bro. the pastor like puts yes. his hand on elvis's face and elvis starts like speaking like, his soul, like, like comes out of him. he's like oh, 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 oh and he like gained the power of black people like through that interaction and that's the plot of the movie is that elvis <laughs> gained the power of black people through the black church and then it's like Elvis bro. wouldn't have stolen rock and roll yeah. from black people because he was him. a black guy. Are you yeah. and, they have, and they have Elvis scenes of movie. the Elvis movie. So every oh, I thought this was Meteor Man. <laughs> <laughs> so so there's like scenes of every like black music like BB King just being like, man, Elvis is the coolest cat. And like and like and there's scenes that every movie Martin Luther King Jr. gets assassinated. They include a scene of Elvis just looking at the TV, just going like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh he was yeah. my brother." This is how much he cared about. No, that's what I said. Yeah. All the implied uh, N words, dude. There was one scene. My, the the one scene that like you, dude. He's uh, playing like the uh, in the stadium, and um, there's just and, like they're like he you know gets them all pissed because he wasn't supposed to dance. And the uh, the dude, the chief, the town, uh, the uh, governor just goes. Get that brother lover off my stage, and you're like, that's that's not what. That's, that's such that's, a funny that's, slur. That's not. What get out of here, lover. brother lover. That's brother lover. not what was said. I'm like, where's yeah, Tarantino? Yeah, yeah. And Dylan's Leonardo a brother Caprio lover. When you need him, dude. Where's I'm gonna. Dude, let, since, let, since I'm so white scared, people, we need to say the end. Since I'm so scared <laughs> to say the word wigger, I'm just gonna start saying brother lover. Well, you brother can't lover. say wigger. No, I'm scared. I, I, I can. Can I, be, can I keep it a buck with you? I hate uh, that term. I hate, I a, love, I hate I it too, it's but like it's, it's the term. only term. What it's else do I, I love? It? And it we all make, hate what we are. It doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> I, it made sense maybe in the 90s when we were so segregated, but yeah. now when, when Vanilla internet, Ice was a thing. Yeah, it's, he it's is a person that. of white color. <laughs> vanilla yeah. Ice. Uh, kids, kids grow up on rap music now, so they're not really like try. I guess if someone looks like they're trying, it's obvious, but like it's. But it's dude, the, the first one of the whole movie was so funny because when he first starts getting big brother and then they start brother. getting mad at him because, you know, of, like the style of music and they're, they're implying about like, you know, the like, because he comes to black culture, but it's it's not. And then this ain't that blue eyed soul. Yeah. So like at one point he's like, you know, I just want to do the, the, the blues. Like, why can't they love me? And like his black friend that are like a whole black like bar and they just go out to the back and he just goes, 
Well, you gotta understand something, Elvis. They don't look at you like a brother. They look at you like a white man. And I was like, bro, what? what they look all at, the, they be like, bro, they look at you like a honky. Like, <laughs> honky. Like a, a honky. honky. Like a, you t- I, do I talk like a, yeah, you talk like a talk honky. Like a you know what? Well, you know, it you know is, we call you back in our day? <laughs> what is that? Town? We call you it's a, like, a give hound me a dog. I, I, give, me a, like, give me a pen and a paper. I think I got something. <laughs> What's a honky? What's a honky? Like a honky ass cracker. Honky talk? Like a truck, like a white truck cracker? Just like a slur for white dude. It's because white women are always honking their car horns. After that song? Or was it before that song? Was that a, a honky tonk? Is that honky tonk? That's, that's like an old thing. Yeah. Is that well, his song? No, but he probably covered it. But I will oh, say, I Elvis is a G for that. Because the, the dude like, starts getting mad, and he's like, "Yo, Elvis, you ain't nothing but a hound dog." <laughs> and he's in the corner going, "Now this is ain't nothing but a hound dog." Yeah. Yo, wait, this, is why, this is why I don't believe that black people were that like <laughs> into Elvis. Excuse me. It's because they weren't like giving him his props. Yo, I saw an interview. Dominican, I saw an interview. Bring with the Rachel. racism down a little Hold bit. Hold on, I, I saw that. You the, can't let them. The start that you can't let them wild. in on not, you know, What are you, you talking about? I just said that I don't believe that you black said, artists. You said the blacks. I didn't say the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say the blacks at all. The thing you got to say about the blacks. Yeah, by the way, the blacks are not going to be happy about that. No, we're not. Nobody did. And also, musicians then weren't into. Because I saw an interview with Ray Charles, and they asked him about Elvis. He goes. <laughs> I'll keep my words to myself. <laughs> yeah. No, but why people why people go crazy? <laughs> so so the Elvis movie was the Elvis like uh estate trying to defend against stuff like that. Yeah. And I think that DC dead. raised a really interesting point about how like now yeah, like 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 the Wigga quote unquote doesn't exist cuz mm-hmm. black people are like mm-hmm. so like prominent in culture, right? Mm-hmm. But I think it's really funny to view Elvis as like the first Wigga like before, like yeah. now, it's like an, an advanced <laughs> form of expression. Mm-hmm. He was like, so oh, he's yeah, just, yeah. Justin yeah. Timberlake. So, so he's way better than Elvis. Sorry. Yeah, but oh, but yeah. now it's like an advanced form of expression where you get people like Dylan, right? <laughs> But but back in the day, what like white people looked at black people and they're like, "Oh shit, how do I be more like them?" And he yeah. just ended up, he just ended up uh, talking like this, which sounds like the worst <laughs> you know, black, black voice ever. You gotta have bass in your voice. Uh, yeah, and then black. and like he didn't know what to do, so he's like, "Oh, how do I be more like a black person? I don't know. I'm gonna put on a bedazzled leather jumpsuit mm-hmm. and then go around being like, oh, I Elvis love the blues.' Is the most, Hello, but it's the worst black? impersonation. Would a black impersonation. guy do that? Did well, a black exactly, guy wear a bedazzled suit. No, a yes, white dude yes. who thinks black people would do that would do that. So, so oh, now, now it's in an advanced form of expression. We talk but about, back then, he was the first guy to do it. So, of true. course, he's going to suck at it. So, he, that's true. he's just so doing he's, the worst ever impression of a black guy. He laid the guy. blueprint. Ooh, he laid yeah, the blueprint. Yeah, right. Because yeah. I was thinking of people like Liberace, and I was like, wait, Liberace came up after him. Yeah. Elton yeah. John. But Liberace was wasn't really. Liberace right. wasn't after him. He was just yeah. saucy. They were, they were almost at the same time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we yeah. can we Google this? Yeah, Liberace's Liberace Liberace old as fuck. He has black and white fucking videos out. So does yeah. Elvis. Does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Elvis is OG, dude. Bro, he was like in the that's Vietnam crazy. War. Or yeah. Some yeah, he was in the By the way, that's fake. Or Korean. No, no, he was in the war, no, but not it was Korean all publicity. He was like a dot. He was, was like a happened, happened, dot. He was probably celebrity. in some yeah. Koreans, but he no, no, was. No, no, yeah. he made a deal with the government. Fuck you now? He made a, uh, Elvis made a deal with the government to look more favorable after the whole like yeah, the whole brother lover thing. Oh, I heard some shit about Elvis where he was trying to like recruit himself to the CIA because of the drug yeah, problem? Yeah, they were, they were both big in the 50s and 60s. Oh, yeah, right, so at right, the same time. Right. Liber- so how do we not know that Elvis didn't take that from Liberace? Because what black take artist was doing the bedazzled stuff? A lot. Uh, at almost at every... That, at, or, that, at that time, no. At they that time? That could have been when yeah, they started bro. the gay agenda. Dude, the Elvis... <laughs> well, in the, the new Elvis movie, with In 1956, Elvis. Liberace was joined on stage by Elvis Presley. I just Whoa. I just thought it was funny the first sentence I read in this article was about the two of them. Well, that's another thing about Elvis is that he was very feminine and that was like a like back yeah. then back then you there go to like no a, like that, you go yeah. to a, sh- a concert right because right? he took a lot. Of you better pills. not move your hips, boy. No, oh, yeah. You better not move Dad, your hips, boy. That's, 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 the the, I, that's, oh, that's in the movie. I know, the opening I know, in the yeah. movie is him like going on stage. He's not wearing the whole suit. He's like young and it's like like a high school thing. And the first thing someone's like. Get off stage, you fucking fairy! <laughs> and then the second he starts, he's like, he says "Well, and all I'm the girls a like, ah, ah, bitch. Ah. yeah, <laughs> dude." Uh, and he starts like twerking and right, shit. Dude. <laughs> Moving his hips. That was Moving too much hips. for white people. Bro, like before that. Elvis, he he are, you say, are you saying Elvis was the first twerker out there? He yes. paved the yes. way for twerking. He was twerk. the first white dude that started whining on stage. I'll yeah. say dirty he on Don't the Dots. Elvis paved the way for Cardi B. He's a dirty wide. And Megan the Stallion. He paved the way for Justin Bieber. Before Elvis. True. Before Elvis, white people music was literally like, 
I was out on the field yes. looking at the country yes, sky, and my people. darling came up to me, and I love her so she's twelve. Like, <laughs> uh, like, that, like all the that songs were just dumb. like, like literally like grazing out on the fields. And then Elvis mm-hmm. came out, and he was like, yes, yeah. and like women were like, Come what the face? fuck yeah. is yeah. happening I right now? Do that black shit. Come on, motherfucker! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well, if they couldn't have a black guy, they could have Elvis. You know I will I mean? say though, the, the movie you could tell every time they have like he was like they were like when the the Vegas thing came up, they were like, hey, they'll pay you anything you want. He goes, then I'm bringing my band from back in the the day, and oh, then dude. and then it cuts and it's all black of people, course, yeah. and it's just like. Yeah. Bullshit! <laughs> Run those photos. Find an old photo when Elvis first started. I I want to see how many people sound, are diverse. Definitely, probably black people producing his sound. No, no I'm saying Before on stage. I don't think it was all. I don't think they hired by. I don't think the band. Nah, no, nah, 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 but nah, nah, you don't nah, even nah. know if he paid him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a more valid point. That's a, That's a ain't no matter how. No, he brought he the went, black people. He didn't pay yeah, him though. There were no Mexicans back then. Facts. <laughs> so he's like, we, all right, they murdered all them in LA. Cheap labor. And it's better. And it's you funny. get quality yeah. for a cheaper price. That's, 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 that's also true. really shitty. He's like, they're in going to Vegas. Being like, yeah. this is amazing. Did you see what they did to fucking Ray Charles? They were you paying him in singles. No, like, I was going to yeah, say, all the yeah. pictures really? I find of him on like, stage he, he are with was white like people five, behind him. 10, 15 so show Dude, I'm trying to imagine a world before Mexico, dude. Yeah, without Mexicans in here in America, right? Before They've Mexico. They've been around. Aztec world guys. I, I bet when and Mexicans, it was like a full band at all. When Mexicans started working here, they probably like regretted enslaving guys. black people. Like, yo, we got way more done. Too, though. We would have got way more oh, done that, if we that, enslaved Mexicans. That was Mexicans. for TV, though. <laughs> no, but that was his main two. He did have two guys that rolled with in the movie. Didn't really highlight them. In the movie, that. in a the movie, a guy like no, that needs know. a background vocalist that's black, though. Like that's you know that's his well, yeah. black woman. But the whole point of Elvis is that it wasn't a black guy. The whole point of like the the whole industry behind Elvis. You know the whole reason is that you could you could sell him to people that were. Racist. You could be like, yeah, that's oh, yeah, Elvis. like uh, that he's is not a Elvis. black guy, and they're but like, he's doing it, all that job. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. I wasn't black, you can think I do this? You <laughs> think that was? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, sorry, sorry, smacking his cock man. <laughs> he has a good point. He has a good point. <laughs> I will say, Elvis going up to a governor, going like, look, a regular sized dick. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Kev, Kev, what was, it, what was it, what were you gonna say? My point is, you think that was, uh, you think that was on purpose, or was that, or was that just a, 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 a coincidental consequence of there was, what Elvis was? No, that like the guy that saw Elvis. Elvis for the first time, like his mm-hmm. manager, he was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. we can like, sell this." Oh. He's like, "Yo, he's doing the stuff that black people are doing. That's good, mm-hmm. but he's." They can market it to I will say, yeah, 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 he's, yeah. A, he's okay. at like a he's circus or a fair. More. That's where he meets like his manager, basically. And one of the people next to the manager, they're like, "Oh, he better not go up for too long." Like he, they're like, "Why?" He's like, "I, I've been around that boy. I saw him in uh, in Tennessee. He does all that brother lover stuff." And you're like, "Dude, just say, th- where's Leo? Just say the word." Okay, he does all that fire <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's, I mean, basically what it really, that's the second time you brought that up. Just say the word. Yeah. <laughs> he was yeah, an Dylan, edgy white not, singer. And that, that. That, that's what worked. Yo, you ever seen that clip of what's the dude? It's like, oh, it's he like, got them brother lips. The, <laughs> brother lips. <laughs> I'm not the director, I'm but dead. if I was, up, I would have hired Leo DiCaprio. Hey, man, we're to play ready to Elvis? Guess. Yes. You're so Leo. dumb. Dude. Yeah, yeah. He, Leo would have took it John too Cusack. far. John Cusack, John Cusack would have sick. been the best Elvis. It should have been me and All my dad. All these people are too old. You yeah, 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 yeah. It needed to be... Um, I would have picked three different actors, like a terrible 90s movie. There needs to, there's no more white actors anymore. All right, hold on, hold on. What? I'm what? To, <laughs> Timothy there's no Chalamet. straight... White. Right, yeah, that's wait, true. Wait, I'm trying to think, bro. bro I just, Dude, walked, I just Gio, walked by Gio, a movie nobody producer straight anymore. Yeah, Liam yeah, yeah. Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson Everybody's again. Everybody's getting dicked up and dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, have you have you guys ever seen Three Thousand Miles to Graceland? No. The documentary. Uh, Elvis. No. What is no, it? No, no. It's a movie. It's like a. Uh, it's these guys who were like fucking robbers. They were like. They would rob stores and banks and whatever, and they all were Elvis impersonators. Yeah. At the same no time. way. Like, can, can you look love, up? Can I you Google? That. It's a oh, movie about that literally awesome. his, his so, really father's. So fuck! It's such a good movie. I love that. Because like amazing. Kevin Costner's in it. Ooh. Classic. Uh, can, can you uh, bring that up? Classic. There you go. Look, Kevin Yo. Costner. Black dude is dressed like, like Elvis. Joaquin, Joaquin, uh, uh, what's not Joaquin Phoenix? Uh, the guy uh, that Zoom looks in? like Sticker Fingers. Guy like Sticky Fingers. Oh, I know who you're talking about. The um, black guy, Joaquin. Yeah, yeah. Joaquin. No, no, Joaquin Phoenix is white, bro. Yeah, Joaquin Phoenix is white. I think What's he is Latinx. Guy? He was drug, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> but he has like a, a, a name that's close bro. to that. Gio's drunk, bro. bro. I always say you don't know who Sticky Fingers is, bro. bro they're no. so different, bro. Yeah, Sticky Fingers is a rapper, Sticky no? Sticky Fingers look Sticky alike. Sticky Fingers is a bald black dude with a gap, bro. And, and he's a bald Joaquin black Phoenix dude. Phoenix played Joker. Oh, <laughs> but the guy I'm thinking ba of. Yeah. Ba Bakim. Bakim. Wood. Bakim Wood. Ba yeah, he plays a villain though in, al in almost every movie. I know what you're talking about. Is that his real name? He was in Strap. Bakim. That's a fire name. Wait, I, fire name. I actually, uh, I just remember this. So at the Elvis Museum I was talking about in Jerusalem, when I went over there and they were like, "Oh, your father performed here, your grandfather performed here," and they we treat you like a king. They gave me like free food. Like we were all eating dinner. Like. A free burger. It's like an American style diner, and I'm like eating the burger. And then as part of the, like the royal treatment, they got like a personal, like they got the Elvis impersonator there to come to our table and serenade us. But it was wow. like a a, did a he fat. Marry, did he marry a 16 year old girl afterwards? Uh, well, this guy didn't. He was mentally handicapped. I don't think. Also, <laughs> isn't he's a mentally handicapped. Oh, so, he so I'm literally. So no, I'm, mentally he was still 16. Yeah. Though. yeah. Uh, emotionally and mentally most elvis impersonators fall into that category i'm just saying <laughs> mentally but, Ill? but yeah but 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 so i'm like not mentally Ill, but like <laughs> mentally challenged and, and uh and so i'm like sitting there eating this burger and i'm just like looking up and there's just like a fat old guy just going in an israeli accent and in a mentally challenged voice like <laughs> but i can't help Falling in love. It's not like Scooby Doo was doing Elvis. I'm just trying to eat the burger. I'm just like, f <laughs> try not to laugh because it's like they're paying me like the utmost respect. Like they're like, and they're, like utmost like respect. <laughs> like like they're treating me like a king. If, if we can't <laughs> The one thing you can say. By the say, way, he's singing uh, to a puppy that he just strangled. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, he's strangled. I he's can't middle. help. But, uh, a little more Scooby Doo. A little more Scooby Doo. <laughs> Yo, did they talk about that in the movie? Like him, like fucking fifteen-year-old groupies or what? Of course not, dude. His wife. Yeah, no, they left that out. What's her name? Like sixteen when he yeah. married her. She, she, but here's he was like sixteen. No, he's fourteen quick? when he met her. No, no, no. And, 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 cut? Real quick, in the movie. They address it yeah. very quickly. That's there's what I'm one saying. line. Yeah. There's one line yeah. where one character goes, "She's a young girl," and that's the only time they address <laughs> yeah. the fact that he's fucking a and teenager. You know what's funny about that? Their whole, the whole their whole thing is like the the estate is like Elvis wasn't racist. He's not a fucking colonizer of black culture, whatever it yeah. is. It's like, hey, more importantly though, was he fucking twelve year olds? No, but like, back yeah. then, back then, she was different. She was different. Yeah. Like back let's then, be real. she was different. I think my mom was like seventeen when she met or like, the first person she was with. That guy was twenty eight. So yeah, that guy was happens. a creep. It's he also the a, Caribbean. There's no he was age. A real ass dude. No, just, <laughs> what's that, what's that, wait, what country is it's, it's Jamaica? Jamaica. What's, what's the, the age show? of consent in Jamaica? The, in Jamaica? the age of consent in Jamaica? Yeah. As soon as your nuts drop, they dudes are like, find some pussy immediately. Yeah. 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 Immediately. yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're 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 so are you saying that uh, Elvis being a pedophile was the black thing about him? Yo, in, oh, in Japan, Natalie? you are a fucking oh. creep. In Japan, wait, wait, you said in Jamaica, it. Nat? <laughs> Implying I didn't just Google it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, in Jamaica, yo, it's 16? 16. In yeah. Japan, there's, it's like 13. There's definitely like 13 year olds driving in Jamaica and yo, 13 year olds fucking. Wow. I don't know how we're, we're not ending the podcast, but everyone saying their knowledge of age consents around the world. Dude, I'm moving. That is I'm fucking Jamaican, ridiculous. Though. I'm Jamaican. Guys, so this is dope to been dying. Thailand? I didn't know where we're ending. Seven. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, but can I say this about Elvis Go before ahead. we move it's on? It's your birthday, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess <laughs> fine. This is my podcast. <laughs> Follow twenty three and one. No, but um, not until they put me up. Yeah, no, you guys. Are <laughs> Oh, you guys. Yeah, what's well, yeah. In 2023, because it's 23 and Same, 1, man. so it makes sense, the year of 23. But... You just said some bullshit right there. <laughs> that, that, yo, that's how you way, dodge comics right there. That was, that was an autistic answer. By the way, it's 23 and 1, so you have to go into 2023. Wait, you know it's what? how Gio and Derek dodge the question of when I'm going up. They're like, yo, like 23 in like one month. Like, yeah, it's yeah. always plus one. Like, yo, it's been 23 months. So like... Add one. It's gonna Add be, one. Yeah, it's going to be in twenty. It's going to be in twenty twenty three, and you're going to be like, it's twenty three and one. You're actually going to go up in twenty twenty four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, twenty three well, plus one is, is twenty four. Yeah. All right, what were you going to say? But, what um, Elvis is the last, and, and not even like more than Michael Jackson is the uh, last what? musical artist that has that many impersonators making a living. Because I know personally, like I, I, uh, I almost worked for Elvis impersonator. Just wow, moving. That is the saddest shit what? I've ever bro, heard. Five hundred life. But I was a yeah, teenager. Was Gio, Gio was a backup a singer. Gio was, was a backup singer. No, no, I was just basically a roadie. I was just gonna set up his equipment. Wow. 
and then break it down. That was it. Yeah, you could be like playing a fetch for uh, opposite person. Uh, for ever. But I was like a teenager. Right? Right? It was like a teenager, and it was like yeah. my aunt's neighbor. Go get me a peanut butter like, jelly, a banana, yeah. and a 13 year old. <laughs> get me a 16 year old wife. Eighteen's <laughs> 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 too old, baby. Yeah, but you won't see that. Ever again, like all right, Drake has an impersonator. Drake can't stand him. Uh, I thought Dirk, I never thought Drake, Drake co-signed him. Should have co-signed no, him. No, Drake just sent him a warrant. Uh, Lil Durk has like every rapper. There's some Pac impersonator. There's some Michael Jackson impersonator. There's a lot of Michael Jackson, but it would never have the influence just, Elvis, yeah. as influence. That would never yeah, happen ever course. again. You will never see a, a thousand real slim shitties. That's how shitties. comically iconic he is. Yes. I'm just saying, though, that... What do you mean? A thousand slim shitties that happened like between 2001 and 2003. But that, there's, and, no, there's not going to be any Eminem no, and it's, it's hard to yeah, do that. Uh, yeah. You can't yeah. say half of the shit he says now. <laughs> yo, I'm you know an Eminem I mean? impersonator. You yo, see this I, knife with a yo, jagged I, edge will go through your head whether you fag or les. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody has said faggot more than Eminem. Eminem, yeah. Nobody. Nobody. I mean, DC is trying to beat his record but <laughs> yo in in 30 years from now that in 30 years from now i'm gonna be a fucking post malone impersonator and i'm gonna be making <laughs> bang dude yeah. post malone is kind of like post malone could the do modern day what? elvis modern kinda music kinda contemporary right. elvis yo, post malone yes post malone yo post malone. he is right he is he is post malone is definitely an elf. Yeah, I'm because a fucking cool thug. He's, he's white <laughs> and he Your has service. profited. White Irish son. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yes. Off of but black culture. The difference is Post Malone shit slaps, bro. Nice. So did Elvis. Elvis is fucking yeah. slaps. I guess at the time. No, 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 no. Post Malone I impersonator. Like four I swear to God, if I'm walking on a fucking Elvis? cruise what? and I get off of some island with my family and I'm like 72 and there's just some fucking uh, impersonator Malone? like. Mama, Mongo. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. No, no way. way. No way. That shit is we really fire. had yeah. Elvis. Yeah. We Dylan, literally had Elvis. Dylan, what you would do fire, is go. Man. That's what I used to listen to. Man. <laughs> that's yeah. exactly I will say, actually, do. that's my biggest fear. When we were in uh, Vegas and you're walking down Fremont Street, they just have like these little like stages, and it's just all these old dunkles, just dirtleberries, just. The fuck are these words? Dirtles, bro. They're just people you look at, you're like, your name's Dirkle. <laughs> And there's all these old ass people watching, like, it was Beetlejuice singing with Freddy oh. Krueger as the guitar mm -hmm. and, like, uh, 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 and, like, uh, Scream as, like, that the sounds like, other, other, like, as, sounds like, the like a good time to me. Can, can no, we no, all make singing, a promise? Singing, like, yeah. singing, like, like, every song that, like, every parent in the world in America loves. Just, like, the, the corniest shit we were singing, and I was like... Is, it, is that gonna happen to us? Like what? Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't We're have songs no, 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 like no, no, no. Can we make a promise though? If we don't make it entertainment, we will not settle for being an impersonator on a cruise. Are you crazy? By the way, DC, <laughs> I'm gonna DC. have a Dylan Negri. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna go on DC. When you were doing the Elvis good. impersonation earlier, I go. We gotta tell DC to do more impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> DC, I'm telling you, I'll if you fail, in, if you fail in comedy, you will be doing impersonation. I'll be working on my Will Smith. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, like I was gonna be like I'm working on my Chris Rock, but I don't want to get slapped. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna be out before my car gets told. Yep. <laughs> yes, guys, no, right in the, right in the podcast right now. Yeah. Really, New York shit. Thank you so much for watching. Doped up and dying. Yeah. The Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke show. I'm fucking cooped up.